Welcome back to my Raspberry Pi arcade cabinet. I have an update. I made a few changes. Got some great comments on my first video. Really good response. I'm uh, super pleased with that. Uh, couldn't thank everyone more for just adding questions and comments. It was uh, <laughs> really, really touched with it. So. Uh, first change is up here. I've added speaker holes. Uh, I would like to get it covered with a speaker grill, uh, but I've yet to find a speaker grill. And uh, uh, volume control and tone control, and actually a ha headphone jack. And this comes from this little unit back here. Uh, this is it is essentially uh, an older version of these uh, desktop speakers, computer speakers. The, these ones are powered. I mean, the, the newer, newer style is USB powered, and this goes to your headphone jack. And anything powered is going to have a little more, a little better sound, a little more power to it. So these are the old-fashioned. If anyone remembers the '90s, those yellowed, faded square speakers you get and uh, they come amplified come with their own power supply you know this kind of thing and you just wire one speaker into the other uh, they're all glued together screwed together you just rip them apart and this is what you get to try to mount this in the best I could so the speakers are here and um, we just kind of wired all, all together. It, it sounds really good for what it is and again you know it's just a it's something I wanted to garage sale yard sale find you know a couple bucks or thrift store and you, you can find them fairly fairly plentiful. So uh, next thing is I wanted to wire in a switch so I'll, I'll take you through that. Unfortunately I didn't video any of the speaker stuff I mean I didn't know what I was doing so I was a little uh, cautious videoing it all but it, it, you know it's pretty self-explanatory you, you see it here it's all taken apart you just uh, you know smash your speakers apart this kind of thing will work I mean they're glued together but I'm sure you can figure out how to get uh, the speaker out of here and attach it wherever you want on your arcade cabinet and then it's all kind of uh, contained this kind yeah, the, the, uh, this kind doesn't have a headphone out but uh, th there's lots, I mean there's lots of the subwoofers and you can just go crazy with it alright first step let's get a hole in this cabinet figure out where you want it uh, somewhere where you're not going to bump into it all the time, you know, somewhere you, you, your hands don't normally land. If you happen to hold on to the cabinet up here where you're playing, that's weird, but you know, don't put your uh, switch there. I mean, it easily would be put on the back and then you could, you could reach it, but I liked it here, so this is where, I'm, this is where she's going. Commence drilling. That's backwards, all right. And go nice and easy. Uh, I'm using a different drill here. This is an impact drill. This is what I had. So you're hearing that clicking. My hand was probably blocking things. Plus, if you have a camera sitting on the top of your arcade cabinet, you don't want it to wobble off. So, another reason to go easy. We'll keep going. Next, we want to wire in the switch. Now, I am not an electrician, and you should not follow what I'm doing because I'm not an electrician. Find your own way. Um, we got a, just a regular lamp. 
ex extension cord here. I think it's fine. No ground. I had to make a few modifications to accept the, the ground plug-in for the monitor. But uh, grounded cable may be a better choice here. Again, it's up to you to decide. This is what I'm using. So, if you don't understand, this is the switch I'm using. It's an older brown style. I just thought it would match better. But, I mean, this is probably something you would find at your locally owned and operated hardware store. Um, if you don't understand the way a switch works, I don't know how you made it this far in the video, so I won't explain it. But if you do, it's uh, things are pretty simple. There, little tape, we're done. The beauty of making your own arcade cabinet is just the customization. So you can do what you want to it, and. make it your own personalization so you can, you can add a switch like this you don't have to add a switch you can just plug it in every time use whatever kind of cord you want and uh, it works for you so pop your wires and your switch through there a little electrical tape probably wouldn't be the worst idea here but again I am not an electrician so this is not a submission of guilt admission of guilt I don't know so put her down there we got uh, on is toward me off is away. I'm, I'm at the back of the cabinet, but it makes sense to me. You know, using what you have, just mount that to the cabinet. Don't drop your camera. And then I found this uh, kind of nifty little galvanized cover. It could be easily painted, but I like I don't like that look. I thought it, you know, it fits what I'm going for here with the cabinet. Mount that plate and move on. In here, things are pretty basic. The smart man would have made this a little bit longer, but uh, well, that's how she goes. Uh, hopefully, this is all going to fit. So, this is my speakers. And the aforementioned monitor plugs in. Then we got our wall wart here plugs in and I, I and then the power to the Raspberry Pi so a big part of this is about planning you may have noticed difference in quality when you plan to shoot a video you know you should really make sure your phone is or your batteries charged up on your camera so I've had to switch to my phone and I didn't want to wait for it to charge because that's just the way I am. So I mean, I'm just fishing wires through it's my power. I don't know what that is. This is just a, a USB connection just so I can uh, plug in a flash drive and transfer games and media or whatever you want to it. And this is my keyboard. I'm just going to fish that through this way. I mean, I could attach it to there, but it's just uh, one less thing to do, I guess. If you want to swap over. And I'm just plugging my keyboard into my Raspberry Pi, which you cannot see right now. And then, simply that easy, I'm just going to mount this 
back into place. Again, cable management is key. Make sure you don't pinch anything. And I just screwed the back on with these six uh, deck screws. Okay, we're back on, back in business. Things are working. Keyboard is working. Um, yeah, very happy. Switches right here, turns it on. No fires yet. A uh, couple of questions people have asked in the comments. Rotating the screen. I haven't looked into it that much. If you know how to do it, post a video. Send it to me somehow. Uh, show me how to do it. Someone said control alt arrow key on the keyboard. Uh, it didn't work for me. You know, I, I, I'm sure I'm just not intelligent enough to figure it out. But uh, I need a video showing me or a monkey how to get the screen to rotate for uh, vertical shooters and things like that. Um, I don't know if I address the pictures on the side in that video i should probably go back and watch it but these again these are just photographs i sent the photographs in there's uh big box stores here that for pennies a picture you can get them printed out they look great you, you could do it on your printer uh, your bubble jet inkjet printer at home but i mean this is just cheaper and uh, i didn't i i'm in canada i use a local uh canadian owned uh drugstore to print these out and uh, for the same price you get them in two weeks or you can go to American big box store and get them in 45 minutes your choice but uh, you know I think they look pretty good I still want to work this cabinet a bit I, again the finish turned out terrible my fault um, but you know for the functionality it, it works and then the Donkey Kong sounds Let's get into her. Where am I? Donkey Kong. U.S. Uh, I don't know how to get the walking sounds in here. I'll turn it up. Oh, you can probably see. You can't see my speaker holes. Where I put in uh, this the speaker. Uh, a little bit of paint. I hid them. I don't even know if I need speaker grills here, but maybe I can take you in. Speak. Where are we? You know, it, <laughs> you can't see it. Oh, there we go. Little bit. Speaker. So, uh, ideally, yes, I want to get speaker grills, but let's bring you right in for Donkey Kong. Why not? We'll tip you down. So, the sound. Coin up. Play it one player. Hopefully you can hear that. Maybe this will get the video flagged. Yeah, see, no sound, right? If you Again, if you know how to put those sounds in... No walking sound. I thought there was a jumping sound, but I guess not. This is this is a masterpiece of a game. That's so good. Th this game is so hard and so brutal. It is Nintendo is just sadists. This game is and you know i have there is no pattern like i mean there, there's a certain pattern but there's a lot of randomized they're like that wild barrel that's the first level i can't even get it is super hard to do this and talk and you can see uh all my lives you can start with more lives just in the settings uh the the dip settings it makes things a lot easier and and uh, for hacks like me. So, yeah, but I mean, this is just, this is like a, you know, this is like your desert island game. I, 
you can really not get too sick of this game. I, I don't know how many hours it would take to get really good at it. I think I've been level three, maybe level four. I can't remember. I mean, you can see my high score there. But, oh, man, it is tough to duplicate that. And uh, the, the amount of concentration. I don't get the hammer. And then if you get to this part, like, this is actually easy. But getting up there is is tough. You don't get much of a break before it starts again. And yeah, I'm sure you all know this pattern. Do the left and then do the right. But uh, now what a game. This is just perfection. I was supposed to grab that hammer. <laughs> wow. Will this still work? Because they're kind of locked over there, hey? He's coming to get me. And then, you know, yeah, they die on the right side and then they reappear on the left. Nothing too out of the ordinary. That guy's going to be a bean. Even if you do it wrong, you can still do the level. Something important to add is how to shut this thing down. I normally shut it down from this stage or or even uh, this, this stage here. Tur just turn the power off. I've never had a problem. Nothing's ever corrupted. Um, I have heard it's recommended to go back out into the 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 Linux of the Raspberry Pi and shut it down. I, I was doing that for a while, and it did corrupt the system. And it was it was blanked. It didn't it didn't work. It wouldn't boot up. I had you know simply had to start over again. Just reinstall everything. But because you can. Uh, you, you can go out and, and, and quit, right? And then it'll it'll start or reboot or whatever. That gave me a problem. I, I don't know why. So stay here. Just turn the power off. You shouldn't have a problem.